I've been in the classroom. I've had the joy of that. I've had the joy of research. I've had the joy of service, all of it. And then to capstone it with having our alumni come together and literally do what we needed financially to put this place uh, in order, so to speak, and to be able to achieve the goals. So what I say to people is thank you. Thank you for caring. Thank you for the expectation of excellence of each other. Well, I guess my biggest accomplishment is giving people opportunities. So that's what Ole Miss is really about. It's about providing our students with opportunities. And to watch the sense of community that has developed in, around that concept of providing opportunities to our students, that is absolutely wonderful, be it in the classroom, be it connecting them for a job, be it finding the scholarship money, helping donors understand how they can impact the excellence of the university. And so the opportunities for our students is what the accomplishments that I think we're all the proudest of. Over the last month, I've been reflecting on my 42 years at the university. And so it's been fascinating to think back about the challenges of being a young professional and learning to teach. And, and how I had colleagues who helped me. So I had mentors along the way. I had role models to help me learn to teach. And so that first class I ever taught is in my mind. But then you go along and you look at the graduation ceremonies and you sit on that stage and you look out at this sea of people who are there to celebrate their child or the, the student celebrating their achievements. And that to me is the crowning glory. So I'd have to say graduations to me are the examples of why we're here. So you just go around the campus and you look at the depth of quality of our faculty and staff and what they've helped this university achieve. And I'm just, just happy and proud and humbled to be a part of a group of people. I come back to the open door ceremony. You know, where literally I watched Robert Kayad open the door for James Meredith. And James Meredith's courage in 1962 opened the doors for so many people. Again, opportunities. And you go down and you look at the Civil Rights Monument, and opportunities is one of the words, because that's what we are about as an institution. So I could point to some events. Um, I, I taught my class this spring. I, every time I go in the classroom, it just electrifies me because it's about knowledge and sharing that so people can achieve their goals in life. So, so many opportunities, you know, that it's been amazing. But the people are what makes it amazing. Be our students, be it our faculty, or our staff, or our alumni, or our friends coming together with a common goal. And so when we talk about the love of Ole Miss, I guess that's what I have to celebrate, is the love of Ole Miss that all of these people have, and the expectations of achievement and excellence. They're there because we're expected to do it, and that's what we're here for. Okay. I've got a lot of priorities. The first priority is that I'm going to be the best volunteer the University of Mississippi has ever seen. I have watched what volunteers have meant to this university, serving on advisory boards or as donor groups or whatever, and I'm going to be one of those. So knock, knock, whenever they need me, come calling, and I'll be glad to help with any projects at the university. Then I'm going to take time. There's some family things that I want to do, and so little Cecilia Grace Weems, my grandchild, who lives in New Orleans, is going to see me a lot more, and uh, I'm really excited about that. And then our family and our church. I've been wanting to do some things with our church, and this will give me an opportunity. And then I love to ride horses. And so my husband, who's been retired, Jerry, who's been retired for four years, will be riding every day as he's been doing the last four years, and I'm going to go ride with him. So I look forward to some recreation, some devotion to church and, and uh, God and that kind of thing, and to family, and then to uh, getting to know my grandbaby a little bit better.